hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm uh, in today's video we will solve a numerical problem from fluid mechanics which is related to jet of uh, water striking a curved plate which is symmetrical along its axis and uh, which is moving with velocity u and jet is moving with the velocity of v so let's read out the problem and along with that we have to note the parameters given in the problem so a jet of water so first of all we have to note down that it is water so what it means it is water then its density we already know rho is thousand kg per meter cube then diameter is 100 mm d is 100 mm which strikes a curved plate at its center it is striking at center with a velocity of 15 meter per second so velocity v of the uh, jet is 15 meter per second the curved plate is moving with a velocity of 7 meter per second so u is 7 meter per second the direction of the jet they are moving in the same direction the jet is deflected through an angle of 150 degree so you can see that this was initial direction of the jet and this is deflected through 150 degree so this total angle is 180 so this angle will be 180 minus 150 is equal to 30 degree so theta is 30 degree assuming the plate is smooth what is the meaning of this plate is smooth means there is no frictional loss in this plate so velocity at inlet will be equal to velocity at outlet there will be no loss so means the velocity at center uh, when it is striking plate it will be equal to velocity at outlet we have to find the force exerted by the plate in the direction of the jet so now we have to find the direct uh, force in the direction of the jet fx so what will be the fx so we have to find fx how uh, to calculate it so we know that uh, f force is the rate of change of momentum so rate of change of momentum we can write as m1 minus m2 divided by time m1 is initial momentum m2 is final momentum and t is time which is, so we know that m is momentum is mass into velocity so f will be mass into velocity at inlet m1 v1 minus m2 v2 at outlet divided by time now we know that mass flow rate is constant at uh, and mass flow rate is not changing from here to here so m1 will be m equal to m2 so it will be m v1 minus v2 divided by time so this is mass m is mass m by t is mass flow rate which will be equal to rho av rho is the density area a is area v is velocity because a into v, v is uh, volume flow rate so rho if you multiply it by rho then it will be mass flow rate so rho av v1 minus v2 we have to find force in f direction so it will be rho av v1x minus v2x now rho av what is v1x v1x is the direct uh, velocity at inlet in x direction so it will be relative velocity v minus u and v2x is velocity at outlet in x direction which is negative because it is in opposite direction the initial velocity was in this direction this is in this direction so it is negative minus so minus v minus u cos theta now you have to notice another thing that uh, i did not tell you that uh, what is the mass striking this plate because this is moving with velocity v the, all the fluid will not strike this plate this is moving with u so there will be relative motion between plate and jet which will be equal to v minus u so mass flow rate will be also equal to rho a v minus u because uh, liquid is coming uh, from jet uh, with the velocity v but all is not reaching the plate some uh, because it is moving with velocity u so it will reach with the relative velocity of v minus u so mass flow rate is also equal to rho a v minus u and now v minus u 
is minus minus will become plus v minus u cos theta so if we can take uh, v minus u as common then it will be rho a v minus u whole to the square then 1 plus cos theta so this is force in x direction or in direction of z so we can put all the values we have written we have to find area so you can calculate area a is pi by 4 d square which is equal to pi by 4 d is 0.1 all to the square so if you calculate it then it will be equal to 0 0.00785 meter square if you put this value in this then rho is 1000 kg per meter cube into area is 0 0.00785 into v minus u what is the value of v v is 15 u is 7 so 15 minus 7 is 8 15 minus 7 whole to the square into 1 plus cos theta theta is 30 degree so 1 plus cos theta is root 3 by 2 which will equal to 0.866 root 3 by 2 is equal to 0.866 so if you calculate this value then you will find the value of force is equal to if you calculate this value then you will find force is equal to 938 newton now what is the second question let's see let's move it down so that we can see it now we have to find the power of the jet So what will be the power of jet? So power of jet will be power is work done upon time. So what will be the work done? We have already found the force Fx. So W is uh, force into displacement in direction of force upon time. We have to find work done upon time. So work done upon time will be equal to divided by T. So it will be fx into distance upon time in direction of force will be equal to u velocity of the plate. So we have already found fx is 938 newton into u is 7 meter per second. So if we multiply it then we will find the value of power which will be equal to 6560 newton meter per second which will be equal to watt so it is 7.56 kilo watt now we have to find the efficiency so efficiency is equal to uh, uh, output upon input so what is here output and input it is energy so what is the output output is 6.56 kilowatt and what is the input input is kinetic energy of this jet so it will be half mv square so it will equal to half into rho a v half into rho a rho a v is m into v square so it will be half rho a v cube which will be equal to half into thousand into area is we already calculated area is 0 0.00785 into v is 15 to the cube if we calculate this value then you will find it as 13.246 if we calculate per second then 13.246 kilowatt so if we have to find efficiency then n is equal to 6.56 divided by 13.246 which will be equal to 49.53 percent 
it will be equal to 1.4953 so if we have to calculate in percentage then it will be 49.53 percentage so this is the answer so we have found all the answers we have found calculated the force we have calculated the power and we have calculated the efficiency i hope you understood how to calculate these values if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching